Back during 1992's vice presidential debate, Admiral James Stockdale asked, Who am I? Why am I here? Well, I'm Bob Whitehouse, and I am the teaching elder at McDonald's Chapel Presbyterian Church, as well as the president of the Moore County Chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI for short. And I'm here because you don't need me to tell you that we live in a very stressful time. And sometimes, even when we do the important work of self-care and have a vital spiritual life and a supportive church, family, and friends, as I do, we can still become emotionally overwhelmed. That's why I have a mental health professional on call for when I need it. Because we live in a very stressful time. In addition to COVID stress, we may find ourselves dealing with a loved one who's being abused or dying or suffering from PTSD. Or we may find ourselves deep in depression unexpectedly. Or we may experience a family member suddenly afflicted with a mental illness. So where do we turn at such times? God, first and foremost. But sometimes, just as God provides us with medical doctors when we break an arm, God provides us with the help we need for our mental health through mental health providers. Unfortunately, centuries of stigma have kept people from seeking the help they need. And that stigma also makes the mental health field hard to navigate. People tend to be a lot quicker to tell you what doctor they see than what therapist they see. Of course, when someone you know is out of control or a threat to themselves or to others, call 911 and ask for a crisis intervention trained officer, or CIT officer for short. The 911 operator will know what you mean. But in non-emergency settings, I'd like to give you three keys that can open the door to mental health care for you or for a loved one. Now when you call one of the phone numbers that I've given you, it may involve a wait, a phone tree, or leaving a message. So don't be surprised by that. Someone will eventually get back to you. And if they don't, call again, and again, and again. The first key is 211. The folks at 211 can refer you to a number of services in your local area for food, transportation, shelter, and mental health care. The second key is the Sandhills Center. They can refer you to agencies and counseling centers in your local area for a wide variety of mental health issues, which are listed in the resource I have provided. The third key is NAMI, North Carolina. This key is for people, families, and caregivers living with a mental illness or with mental health disorders or things like PTSD. We offer support groups that meet via Zoom during COVID, but in person otherwise, for a wide variety of people. So remember that God loves you and if you need help for your mental health, call one of these three numbers and follow where they lead. And may God bless you on your journey.